Okay, so I don't know where I get this stuff. I just wake up with stuff on my brain. Okay, now look, this is a Nintendo 64 analog stick, all right? Now this is a PS4 analog stick. It's the box, okay? Now here's that Alienware seat. Now imagine that this is the joystick, okay? Now here's the gyroscope. Now what this is, is basically it's gonna be the spacecraft's seat. That way whenever it's flying, it can position itself sideways and the seat remains stable. Now when it uses superconductors, it can create inertia cancelers inside this, that way they don't break their necks whenever they go to accelerate real fast. Now watch how this, see how that reacts? Now watch what it does. It's gonna realign the electrons so it takes the shock and it twists it into a magnetic field using the angular momentum of the field to absorb the shock. So you can imagine there's superconductors in here. Now we're using analog gears, okay, like a clock. They have superconductors and such. It's the same mechanism, but they're using superconductors. Now you can imagine if their seat is here, this axis here is going to be spinning. That's going to give it the angular momentum. Now see, he's going to, this guy's going to use angular momentum to distribute the weight of that in an angular pattern. That way it's not so heavy. And it'll literally, it's literally like anti-gravity, see? And it uses the wind dynamics of a Frisbee. It generates diff a lift and different wind pressures. Now in this video, when this UFO dives into the water, what it's doing is when it pauses here, it's reconfiguring itself. So it's flying and then it stops and sits there for just a second to reconfigure itself for a down dive. Basically what happens is the angular momentum going this way is going to get redistributed into a field and all of that torque is released and distributed slowly. While at the same time the seats maintain, maintain the, a, a stability so it doesn't hurt the passenger. 